Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as Vault City. Now, before we get too far, let's go do some technology, and let's talk about the mods we're using. Old World Blues, obviously. Or Old World Blues Radio. We're also using the special sub-mod for Old World Blues called Vault City Expanded, so it gives us a unique focus tree. Uh, colored events, stage change to tool mod, as well as better peace conferences. I think... I think that makes six. I think that's six. Yeah, it should be. I don't remember. Regardless, we're going down a very particular path because it was recommended to either go down the ruler path in this campaign or the elite path. I can't remember. But in this campaign, we're going to go ahead and go down the ruler path just because we can. So we might as well, right? Awesome. Let's grab some support equipment as well. I think that'd be pretty good. We have five research slots, as you can see, and we should begin with the all clear focus. There are innumerable pieces of misinformation about when the vault. Eight opened. Well, here now we put that to rest. We're good, and to let you all know, this is not historical. We are on a historical focuses, so we'll see what happens. The all clear. There is a great deal of debate as to exactly when we first left Vault Eight, but surely, as a leader of Vault City, you have access to this information. How did our ancestors wait at for the all clear? Also, we're led by first citizen Lynette for now. Now, I have previously played Old World Blues Vault City. As the intellectuals before, so we're not going down that route like, that route, like I've said before. Uh, let's see, 70 years after the fall, 100 years after the fall, 120 years after the fall. Hmm. Well, as much as I would love more manpower and infrastructure, ooh, and you get more infrastructure, you do get more resources immediately. Ooh, I can't remember. Usually, I want a gun for manpower early on, so. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to go 120 years in. Deal with the criminals. Vault City is a utopia unrivaled in the wasteland. Such a place undoubtedly attracts unfavorable people. Oh, absolutely. And here are national spirits. We have courtyard inequality. So be it. We also have pre-war med me medical training. As well as post-war utopia. And now, of course, 120 years. We waited for the all clear. Crime epidemic. When our ancestors emerged from their underground home and built... Our glorious city with their geck. The surviving vestiges of man were drawn to its brilliance. With them came thieves, bruisers, drug dealers, and all other sorts of riffraff. With crime on their eyes, how do we ever survive? Punish crime with servitude to the citizenry, stability and war sport, or give them mandatory military service, which looks pretty good. Enslave criminals for use as labor. I like that idea. As well as give them the death penalty. Ooh, mine is 40% damage to garrisons. I like that a lot. I like execution. But... With the little challenge I'm throwing in here, as someone recommended before, we, that'd be kind of a waste for now. Uh, like I said, I usually like manpower. Mm -hmm. Conscription would be not be bad. Servitude, slavery. Mm. Well, we already don't allow slavery, so I don't think that would be really good to do. Stability is always nice. War sport is always nice. Population. I normally like to do population, but I want to save that for another campaign. So please remind me in the future, when I play as Vault City again, because I will play as Vault City at least two more times on this channel. So we'll do conscription then. Let's go with punish crime and servitude to the citizenry. It's not slavery, it's just punishment. Security armaments. The defense of Vault City is an important topic at every governmental meeting. and amounts to a sizable portion of our budget. And we get the event for stocked armories. And we only have a single division, which honestly really, really sucks. And... The defense of our utopia must never cease, as we are a beacon of culture and technology. When Vault Security took stock of these contents of their armories, what did they find? Firearms? Oh, that's not bad. We get three security teams. Lasers, Walt's shipments, or, yeah, Watt's shipments. We get basic energy weapons, or robots. Oh, man. Oh, robots are really nice. Oh, or lasers. Two security teams. I'm pretty, I can't exactly remember, but when I played as Vault City before, I'm pretty sure I went with robots before, and that aluminum is nice, and I kind of would like to use robots early game again, just because robots are really, really not bad to use in early game. Yeah, oh, hmm. Three security teams. Well, basic energy. I'm going to go with firearms. For now, because of what path we're going to have to go down. So we got Gecko Gunslingers, huh? Alright, hopefully these guys will do okay for us. 
and Gecko Uprising. The Gecko Uprising blindsided Vault City for even as the ghouls marched in honor of their rights, an unknown threat emerged from the underground intent on enslaving all when the dust settled, who controlled Vault City. So, our normal template is 10 combat width, which is, eh. These guys are also 10 combat width, which are, eh. With that exact sound. We can only get 1.32 political power every day. But let's see what happens with the Gecko Uprising. After decades of discrimination and violence, the ghouls of Gecko finally had enough. They armed themselves and aimed to take our utopia. The villainous brain pulled the strings from the shadows, causing slight after slight between the two towns. Security Chief Wallace suggested that they declare martial law, while First Citizen Lynette urged cool heads in diplomacy. Just as they were coming to their decision, Brain's mutant role mats emerged from their bureaus under the courtyard. What happened next? And he is the ruler, so diplomacy prevailed to get a research slot and become intellectuals. Uh, the ghouls took over, where did people become ruling party? And he gets more construction speed with Handyman. And he gets, ooh, Wallace starts to become a unit leader. Ghoul recruitment, the beast destroyed us all, the ruler becomes the leader. He gets, oh, 3% more recruitable population. And you get mole rat cohorts, and martial law was declared. I kind of want to do that one, but the beast destroyed us all. It's unfortunate. The beast must do what it must do. And we got some mole rats, and honestly, I don't think I like mole rats that much and they already only have eight combat with okay so compared to these infantry divisions infantry divisions will be on your left and the mole rats will be on the right infantry are better in soft attack well of course we have to understand that they do have only four battalions versus five so it's, it's somewhat comparable somewhat yeah four and a half soft attack versus six four heart attack it says that less heart attack suppression is four which is pretty good Suppression's only 1, 13 defense, 28 defense. These guys are really good on defense. And they do have more breakthrough, so it's a little different overall. 14 breakthrough, this is slightly less. This is almost roughly double, double the defense. This have way more HP, half the organization, a little bit less supply use because, of, you know, it's a smaller division size, and more recovery rate. So I've never used Morats before, and I'm not... Thinking we're going to do great, but we're going to restore the council immediately. Restore the council after the Gecko Crisis to let us rule more efficiently. Very descriptive. Now we have no one as a leader. Dweller Arthur. I love the uh, Vault Boy images here, so let's let time go on. Have a good time. Get some research done. Because I have not told you what type of... Ooh, actually infantry... Ooh. Challenge I am putting in with us. Actually, I might have put in the title. I don't know. Ninja and that attack. Oh... These are not considered infantry, are they? I'm gonna go with more entrenchments, maybe? Oh, we can't do anything anyways. Ooh. Alright, so here's my challenge. It was recommended to me, like, I don't remember when, weeks ago at the time I was recording, maybe months ago, for me to try an old world blues game where I don't conquer anybody. I'm gonna just try to puppet every single one of our enemies. Now, that might not come true, that might not happen, but that's gonna be, this is gonna be an attempt for us to, well, look, the brain's here. Puppet all of our enemies. So, because we had a puppet, you know, Pale Folk, Cyclops Tribes, oh, Cyclops Tribes up here, Pale Folk over here, the Yakuza Territories, New Reno, Antelope Tribes, it's going to be a mess. That's going to be a gigantic mess, and I promise you it's, it's going to be a little different from what I normally do. We've got plenty of infantry equipment, but we need some mole mutant rats. Yeah, thank you. I guess I'll try to use them, so... You know what, you go to there. Good, good. And we... Oh, I want to use Protectrons, because those are not bad to use early on. I think I might use... Oh, should we use them? Should we not use them? Ooh. Ohm's Law's not bad. Robo Security. Oh, they're only six combat with? Are you kidding me, man? Oh, my goodness. You know what, well, maybe we'll use, like, one or something. We'll try that. Eventually, I do want to use nothing but Mole Rats, but... That's going to take some time, and I'm going to need a big old Air Force before we get too far down the road, so. And actually, when's the next tech done? It'll be a while, so. Restore the Council, and I would like to go down here immediately, but we don't have to. We get, ah, well, actually, daily ruler support will already pretty much solidify. And loyal citizens is not bad, more population. Uh, we either do human breeding programs or mutant supremacy. So let me know in the comments below. Should we do human breeding programs? Because breeding sounds like fun. Or should we do a mutant supremacy? Let me know in the comments below. I'll leave that up to you guys. Let's go and do vault tech calling. For far too long, we have sat in our utopia city. For far too long, we've waited and rested. Now it is time for the action, expansion, vault tech is calling. Just five, we'll go 7 minus 25%. Don't mind if we do. Now we have quite a bit of political power here. 
It would be smart to go down to well-equipped army because we're not... Uh, we're actually building fairly adequately so far. I would like a research advisor though. Ooh, land doctrine. Automated warfare, refined warfare, or just conventional warfare. Well, do we want to go down any one of those three? I suppose, or, yeah, I suppose so. Because this is for mutants, not mole rats, right? Well, what do you figure as a mutant? Well, technically, mole rat cohorts are what we are using. So, all right. You know, mole rat cohorts. Mole rats. Oh, was that mole rat or mole rat cohort? Mutants, mole rats. You know, we could go down that way. Hmm. Is it worth using that? Let's, I want, because, I, like I said, I've never used mole rats before. And let's see, infantry. Duh, duh, duh. Weapons infantry. Because that's not mole rats, no. Walking infantry. Not mole rats. Uh, down here, walking infantry we already saw. Was it was a support fighting weapon infantry? Da, 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 or actually, army. Yeah, but that's not very much, obviously. So, oh, I'm very tempted to be using ooh, outsider warfare. That would make so much more sense. Behemoths? Behemoths. Mutants. Mole rat cohorts should go for mole rats, so maybe we should go for that outsider stuff. If that's the case, then getting any of these would only give us more daily army XP, which is not bad. Because I do have to edit these divisions. We have to do that. But first first thing in business is Dwell Leopold, because he gives us 15% more political power, stability, war support, and recruitable population factor. Uh, that's pretty darn important. 1.69 is not bad. And I want to go to war as fast as possible, so... Hmm. I guess we'll go to a well-equipped army. That's fine with us. That's better. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's spend uh, three political power for Dweller Horatio. More attack. And we can't promote him because we don't know for that. That's fine. Alright, so who is the weakest one around here? Whoops, you don't need to see that. We don't need to see that right now. Pale Folk. They have one to two divisions, one to three divisions. I want to take out Cyclops tribes first because they they look like they got some more territory. Call the Flock, Cyclops, Cyclops, Antelopes. And I for not. Look, Cyclops, tribes are warlike and violent in the extreme. A Spartan culture that demands them to go forth and kill beasts and men to prove their place. They never dared attack the walls of Alt City, but they have been a bane on our outlying communities and trade for as long as we can remember. Let us return the favor. An eye for an eye, my friends. An eye for an eye. I think the last time I attacked. Maybe I attacked them, attacked them first. I can't remember. I do remember, though, using. or playing as Vault City last time I played as Vault City and having zero casualties in the first war. That is not going to happen in this episode or this campaign. <laughs> so. Oh, and we do have a trade note, right? Yes, we do. Awesome. Heaven's Gate, Arroyo. Well, hold on. Let's go back here. Uh, let's see. 13, 6, 2, 21. Oh, I love the Mormons. I love them, love them, love them. 29, that's, that's definitely better. It's finally nice having a trade note. So we have one. Well. Oh. Look at that, there you go. Good luck, yeah, definitely don't let our capital get taken out, please. If they've only three divisions, that's totally fine with me, and I want to go to war them as fast as possible. So we get they get the Brain's Wrath Ultimatum. We have some secret language, which would be very nice. Let's grab some reference manuals as well. Yeah, we, ooh, one, two, three, four divisions. The Fires of the Apocalypse, well, eh, I don't really care, just let them come in, I, don't, I really don't care. One, two, three, four. We still have seven divisions, which does give us an advantage here. We could probably go straight for Paradise Valley, Elko, crush these guys relatively quickly, getting us more manpower, or really more army XP. I'm more concerned about army XP right now, actually. What else? We have some cybernetics. Well, nothing's unlocked yet, so. Engineering-wise, we can wait a little bit longer. That's okay. Naval stuff. Yeah, I'm not too keen on naval stuff. Ooh. If they, I mean, it only makes sense that we can do this, right? It says mutants. Even though it says mole rat cohort, that should still apply to mole rats. Because sometimes you think things work out like that, but they actually don't for some reason. So We're going to try to go down that way. If we find out that it's not really working for us, we'll change it up. Warrior training, and then let's grab some crowd control here. That'd be very good. All right, boys and girls. Let's hope, hopefully they uh, capitulate to us. But we will have uh, this done first. Seed selection. Uh, it's only it's already made. Wow. Hmm. Land doctrine, air doctrine. Yeah, I have used this doctrine before playing as was it Shale's army, I think. 
More recovery. I do like the more soft stack, though. That's good. That's slightly more organization, but you really don't get that much organization, period. So, there we go. Motorized flight. It's good. And we got something else done. I didn't bother to read it because, oh well. And go and get resistance. Why not? All right, an eye for an eye. And after an eye for an eye. Well, actually, I want to see what what happens. Pass by the yakuza. It wouldn't be bad, but since this is a historical, we'll see what happens. Ah, an eye for an eye. Uh, hopefully, they respond soon. Let's go ahead and grab outsider volunteers, military. Wow, we got a lot here. Special Forces Capacity Multiplier, Tactically Minded, Esoteric Engineers, not bad. Gunrunner, ooh, that's kind of costly. Lots of flag consumption, I like that. Military Quartermaster, that's not bad either. Fleet Logistics Frontline, ooh, more attack and defense. Ooh, I like that a lot. I'm going to grab you immediately since they probably will not fold to us. Never mind, a Cyclopean reply. Cyclops tries to accept your proposal and became a vassal. The only rational choice. Wait, um... This might be bugged. They, they said they accepted. Game? Game? <laughs> well, let's call the flock and we'll go to war with them anyways. The warriors of the Pale Folks tribe have been in a nightmare of central Nevada for decades, launching nightly raids on caravans and outlying settlements in their endless hunt for supplies. Like raiders, they survive by taking, and like raiders, they should be dealt with swiftly with, and with extreme violence. Well, I guess we were gypped. Let's go ahead and move on in then. Do they attack me? No? Okay, go right on in. If that's the case, you're going to go up here and encircle them. You're going to keep these guys in place. You guys are going to go do the same thing. Cut them off from everyone else. They said they gave up, but I guess that was a lie. Sir, no, you are not allowed to move. Sir, no, you're still not allowed to move. No, sir. Not today. Actually, just go in there and do that. There you go. Actually, screw it. Go that way. Oh, cool. Very good. Just take all the other tiles here. Oh, before we forget, let's make sure we do this. Oh, good. Capital surrounded. Klondex, thank you. thank you. Come on. Oh, they're going to try to encircle us too. It's fine, whatever. You guys get down there. Do all that good stuff. Keep them in place. Um, they still own Klondex, so that's going to be super important to get. It does look like we're slowly trying to win here. Help out right here. Well, that's not good. Go keep them in place. Keep them in place. We can't afford this guy to win, so it'll be all right. And we're still getting more army XP, so that's okay with me. A few losses here, there, whatever. They're going to be under us anyways. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. Whole country. We lost three guys. They've lost eight guys, so the casualty ratio is definitely... Well, it's okay. Hey, we got two army XP now. Not bad. Not bad. Come on. Come on. Help them out. Help them out. Help them kill themselves. Army defense. Ooh, infantry division attack. I think we gotta go army offense. Even more attack. Ah. Oh. Alright, we got him. And like I said, we're gonna try to puppet everyone we take out. Oh, look at that. They changed the color. They're a protectorate. I love it. And actually, since they're here, no divisions. They have a thousand manpower. We're gonna give them a lot more manpower where we're going. Suck up, tribes. Ooh, they, they are using infantry. They're not using mole rats. Ooh. Infantry 16. We're gonna go with this one. But we don't have manpower for it. Uh, this is not gonna be a good challenge for me. For us. I mean, this will be. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Call the flock, thank you very much. We will do that soon, but first, crowd control gear. Robotics, huh? This is going to be just a giant smorgasbord of just us doing stuff. Uh, if you like to read about that, go right ahead. I'm not too interested in reading about that stuff. That happens every game, so it's alright. Grab some of this because we can. Uh, what is our stockpile like? We need more support robots. We got plenty of guns. More rat mutants looking pretty okay as well. If that's the case, add one more too. At this point, since they're all going to come here anyways, it's fine. Last patrol, declare war on the chain quarter. The last patrol is actually a really... It's a pretty fun nation to play. Maybe not the, the most fun, but it's its pretty fun, I'd say. In terms of nations to play as. Call the flock. Now, we can go with eager warriors. You get... Ooh! Advanced ballistic weaponry. That's pretty good. Um, I think I might want to take out the Yakuza territories immediately. That might be a little bit fun, actually. Well, hold on. Before we 
even talk about that. How many divisions do they have? We have quite a long, long border with them. Three to seven. That would be quite the challenge. Let's try it. The Yakuza are a frustratingly competent criminal organization that somehow survived the Great War and a century of life in the wasteland. Even more vexing is that they control one of the most heavily populated settlements north of Vegas. It's time we put a stop to that. Well, it looks like the Pillfolk replied and has accepted our proposal and became a vassal. The only rational choice, but... I don't know, man. Like, I don't know about that. It doesn't look like they really agreed to the proposal, so... Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Alright, let's go and break in through here if you can. Take the mole rats. Actually, do they have a different speed than everyone else? They're 2.6 kilometers, while infantry is 4, so maybe they're actually a little bit slower. That's not good. Eh, oh, I can call in our ally. There we go. They do have two factories, so that's not too bad. You guys head on in, have a good time. Go ahead, and then go ahead. We should be able to win here, too. We should be able to. Uh, very nice. I wanted to go to war with these guys quickly. First of all, I helped extend our border with the Yakuza, so it makes it a little easier for us to get in there. Ooh, who the heck are you? 16. Is that what we wanted? I guess it was what we wanted. Alright, that, that was very fast. That was incredibly fast. About that division. Holy cow. Alright, so be it. So be it. Whatever. You guys can help out too. They're looking a little disorganized, which is fine. Good, good, good. The Rapids were annexed. Very awesome, very awesome. You guys keep yourself in some place, and then uh, kill them. And then uh, kill them. And then, uh, yeah, get rid of these guys. There you go. Not bad. A puppet empire. Shall we? Of course. Of course we shall. Motorized flight's gonna be good. I'm gonna go grab biplane fighters immediately. We, I want planes as fast as possible. Of course, as well as robots. Don't get me wrong. Crowd control, support equipment. That's all gonna be super, super important stuff. And you guys help out here, too. So far, it's looking like we're doing really, really well. Of course, it helps if you leave with veterans, but, you know, whatever. Actually, just to help support the attack. Eh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, no, 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 do not leave, do not leave. What are you, what are you guys doing? You're crazies. There you go. Come on. Come on. There we go, now they're going to try to attack us. That's fine. A little bit of lag, and Crusher's army declared war on those guys. So be it. So flippin' be it. Alright, very nice. Let's see, anything else here? Yes. Help settlements out, clamp down on autonomy. Recruit Polyphemus. Polyphemus was a one-eyed... God, king of the Cyclops tribes, and his martial skills surprisingly impressive for such a drag of the waste. Perhaps citizenship could turn him to our, to our ends in these trying times. Sure. So it is my goal to eventually like, get all through these vaults again. Recruit this deposed leader when we pop in a nation and their former leadership becomes available to us for recruitment as a commander. Oh, we need... We just... Wait. Hello. Okay. Whatever. Alright, kill that division off. Not bad. We lost four guys. Alright, at this point, let everyone just go ahead. They have a single division left. I'm not too worried about that then. Troll war and declare when the rib breakers don't need to play them at the time of this recording. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good so far about this. Now, the Yakuza is going to be a little bit more difficult since they do have more divisions, but hopefully not enough to really cause too much of a ruckus. And cut them off at Bayo Wave. Thank you very much. Every single one of their divisions has perished. And, of course, the brain has led us to glory. Uh, cybernetics, still nothing there. Eh, I grabbed some research for plant cultivation. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. We have five. I love having so many research slots. And, Pale Folk, thank you for finally accepting our offer of vassalization. Alright, I'll do the same thing. Division designer, Pale Folk. Eh, 16. This is very weird. They're all 16. Like, the other group had 16 combat width, 10 combat width. I guess we'll copy them. Train 2. It's gonna be a big old smorgasbord of uh, di di different types of divisions. No 80s, no Bale Folk territory. Uh, Protectorate. Very good. I guess Volta Calling. Cool. The incorporation of Carlin. New overseers. Not bad. Daily autonomy gain. That's not good for us. Uh, more research speed. Do they get another research slots? Well, I'll see what happens. They do. They get more autonomy, but eventually... I. So, even though I did say we're going to pop it, everyone, I think part of the challenge is that eventually I can integrate them, but we have to pop it them first. That's really the thing. I mean, maybe we don't have to. I think that might be a little bit more fun, at least for me. Like, I have to pop it everyone and then spend political power and time to lower their autonomy. I think that'd be a little bit more fun than just saying we can't possibly integrate them, so... But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. 
Valancourt manpower and the damage of garrisons. Don't have to worry about that for now. Free repair, trade deals. Mm, that's not bad. So these actually aren't too bad at all. Chief of the Air Force. Meh, that stuff is okay. <sighs> Dweller Nigel. Well, I still want some more daily uh, uh, army XP. Automated warfare, refined warfare, if anything. You know what? Uh, which one do I want? I don't even know. I really don't know which one I want. It doesn't matter. So, we'll probably just go... Actually, let me see this one. Refined Warfare. I've been using Refined Warfare quite a bit. and If I had to choose one, it would probably be Refined Warfare. Because it does use mole rats, right? Yes, it does. So, let's go with Refined Warfare, just in case, for the leader dude. There we go. Now I get some daily army XP gain, which would be nice. Pacify the Yakuza. Very, very good. The Antelope Tribes. We could do that, too. The Antelope Tribe on our western border has been a persistent threat practically ever since we have emerged from the vault. To ensure the safety of the citizens and the continued growth of our fledgling nation, we must end the threat. An alarming trend. National sentiment is beginning to rise in one of our subjects. Words like self-determination, freedom, and liberty are being spoken by powerful figures in the Pale Folk territory far too often for our liking. If we don't do something about this now, the sentiment may get out of hand. Lose political power, they lose autonomy. It's nothing. That's fine. I don't care. Well, Yakuza Tribes... Did it actually work correctly this time? It actually worked correctly! Huh. Alright, this is very, very weird. Very odd. That it actually worked. Uh, we don't have our own faction yet, but... So, these two didn't do anything. But the Yakuza tribe just gave in. Carson territory. Wait. Carson territory, wait. Yakuza. Huh. Well, at least they get to go down their sort of generic focus tree and do what they need to do, so... Alright. So be it. Now, these guys look like they're a little bit tougher. Of all places, that are going to be tough. Up to 11 divisions for you guys. That's, uh, that's a little more than I'm what I'm used to right now. There's any more support robots, though, but you know what else is new. Same thing with Garrison Territory. Militia, no. Motorized, not bad. Infantry, eh, that's okay. Samurais... I'll go with the Samurai's one, so. We could edit that, but that's going to cost me so much political uh, army XP to change this stuff up. There's so many different types of divisions here. I might be trying to get too, make too many different types of divisions, like mole rats and robots and infantry. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Alright, 2276. And uh, go grab some basic tools because you can. Oh, we actually made some robots, finally. Now we can train a little bit more. Uh, four security teams, ten combo with just really isn't cutting it, but I want more mole rats first. So this way it's a little bit more comparable to our infantry, so. Alright, so that's a breakthrough. So we have you guys versus you guys. Well, technically that's not a fair comparison since they are already lacking, uh, you know, all the battalions. Same speed, way more HP for mole rats, half the organization like we said earlier. Defense is more than double, actually. Uh, heart attack is a little bit less, a little bit less soft attack, of course. More breakthrough, which is pretty nice. Same piercing. Uh, they actually have more entrenchment. Yeah, that, that does make sense, though. Weight is double, though. Ooh, hmm. Even though supply use is the same, but they weigh double. Very odd, but, you know, whatever. We'll take whatever we can get, right? Oh, Dweller Polyphemius. More, hmm, hello, settlement protector, hello there. Anything else here? Settlement Protector. That's not bad. Alright then. Well, let's go ahead and grab some more max planning. Let's, I like that one. And recovery rates. Out supply. Oh, it's not much. 3% more attack, but whatever. It's almost 2276. Well, let's go with Mutated Endurance. Even if we want to change our land auction, at least we have 5 research slots, so we don't feel too bad about changing it. The Antelope Tribe. And we can choose some other stuff as well. Oops, my bad. Hmm. Outsider Battalions might not be bad. Just for support. Chief of the Air Force. Less supply consumption. Better reinforcement. Out of supplies a little better. That one's okay. More max planning would not be bad either. Fire teams. Ranger instructor. Well. I like the minus 10% supply consumption. But we're kind of okay for now. All this stuff is okay. And also, we have no one for the economic policies, which doesn't make sense to me, but, you know, whatever. Who am I? Who am I? Captain of Industry. Let's go and do that one, just because I'm already trying to build up some civilian factories anyways, too. The Antelope Tribe. Well. 
and open territory. All right, that was quite easy. Well, can we do the same thing with Reno? Well, look at that. Is a puppet? It does not exist. I mean, we could court. I think last time we played Vault City, I did court the stuff, so we'll see what happens. Where is Reno on this? Ah, the new Reno problem. So let's get down there. I want to go down there as fast as possible. So, uh, Camp Carson. The Yakuza have proven to be actually a much smaller force than we had anticipated, however. They are highly skilled com combatants. With encouragement and investment, they can become a frighteningly effective special forces operation. Oh, yes. So, gains national spirit. Vault City Yakuza agent. Special forces capacity multiplier plus 5%. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. You know, we can have a good time with them. And, like normal. How much manpower do you have? Not very much. Well, at least take one division from you, though. If possible. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty normal and standard for us, I guess, at this point. If that's the case... Well, we've already acquired a good chunk of Nevada. It's disappointing, though, that the Yakuza didn't want to fight near their Antelope territory, because it does make... If we took them over, it would make them look a lot nicer, and they get the, you know, the vault calling type of... Uh, well, look at all these guys. vault calling type of color, so... And focus free content on autonomy, we will do eventually. Not yet, though. Oh, 34.23, that's not bad. Not bad. We could exploit them. Hmm. Going for 5% more construction speed, that's not really worth it, I'll be honest. 2276 is coming up, so let's grab some smoke signals. Is this okay division? Ooh, it's actually 18 combat width, so not bad, not bad. Do we have any planes? Oh, I would love to have planes. I love gliders. Eventually, I will convert my entire army to mole rats, eventually. That is that is my goal, since we are using them, so. Biplane fighters, can we grab this? That's about a year ahead of time. The triplane attackers are where it's at. Umbrella's annex, very, very good. Alright, we have five more army XP. Oh, we got another mole rat division. Not bad, not bad. And more ro robots. Oh, more military factories, don't mind if we do. Uh... Yeah, let's get a lot more mole rats here. That'd be pretty nice. Let's go with two. Let's go with one more there. I think that'd be okay. And we can invest in here. Don't mind if we do. Ah, Vault City. Honestly, Vault City, you're looking a little lacking in terms of economy, but maybe that's just me. Well, since we're here, uh, I like 10%. 10% is pretty nice. More, more rots. Local workspaces. Not bad. Let's grab some part standardization. Thank you. 18 days left. Carson homing, honing the art. Killing is an art form, Yakuza is saying. With further investment, the Yakuza will become the monomolecular tip of the proverbial spear. They get most special forces attack and defense. Could be better. Could be worse. I'm fine with it. That's totally fine with me, actually. And we got one day left. That's fine. Because I want to do the new arena problem. Hopefully they say yes to accepting, because the, just like these guys. If not, how many divisions does New Reno have? Two to four thousand manpower. Oh, we actually have more divisions. It's best to take them out now if possible, because New Reno can, they can become very, very strong. Which is something I really want to avoid. Uh, dynamite would be good, though. Always good to get some dynamite. Wow. Alright, we're going to need another army then. And another general. Horatio, hello. Experience soldiers losses as well. There we go. Train, train, train. What are we missing? Dynamite. Oh, we have spec ops. Is somebody, oh, someone must be using spec ops equipment then. Well, we have none of that. Robots. We use robots for now. Such a giant mess of stuff we're using. A giant mess. Alright, next up will be probably smoke signals. Yeah, by doing this type of challenge, that just means that... Oh, wow, we got a lot of mole rats already. Ooh. A shining example. Cool. Uh, let's do that one, too. There you go. There you go. Uh, we don't have that many places to build in... Oh, we're called the Brain's Wrath. We can't build that many pla in many uh, territory places. We don't have that many tiles to build factories, I mean. A shining example, though. The art of nation building is usually a thankless one, but today is not the case. The people of Pale Folk Territory seem to have taken to the role of the subject wonderfully. And our officials are welcomed, our demands are met, and of course hearts and minds are being won to our cause. It's wonderful to see eye to eye. Let us use this to our advantage. Eventually, I do want to integrate them, but I can build stuff in their territory, so let's just go and do more political power for now. Once we get a big enough industry, I'm not too worried about it, so. 
Uh, and theoretically a war on the divide. Very good. Very, very good. Now, I don't know who to integrate first, then, if we can just integrate them. I don't know. That's a good question to ask. Alright, so we're halfway done. Chief of the Air Force, bad weather penalty. 3%'s okay, but 20%? I'm gonna go for 20%. There you go. Oh, more light robots. Why not? Why not? Oh, we are using these guys. Are these... Oh. Yakuza Ninja Clan. Horatio falls ill. Well, Horatio, don't fall ill. Come on, man. Alright, let's stop training. We got some smoke signals, and we have some decode signals next. And less than 15 days, nothing there. Okay, so after honing the art, we shall do the new Reno problem, hopefully. The f crime families of New Reno have been customers of ours for decades. It's no secret that they have long coveted Vault City and its medical labs to ensure the security of our nation. We must deal with New Reno before they make their move. We do get some political power, too, so that's not too bad. And they do get our ultimatum. More daily ruler support for them. That'd be pretty good. We need to do under the thumb of the mole. I focus very hard on the left side here. We still have the Utopian City, which would be good. And to get the courtyard eventually, game of the wasteland, security council. So we shall see what happens. Oh wow! Yeah, throwing all the guys. We got 114 caps. That's not bad. Clamp down autonomy eventually. Eh, begin a scavenging program because we can. I would like to invest stimulus as well. So anything else down here? Ooh. Recruit Bushido Hido. Once the foremost boss of the Yakuza clans, Bushido Hido can now serve as a commander of our special forces regiments, where her skills can be put or can be of great use to us. Cool, why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Alright, let's see. Anything else? Ah, yes. Encode signals. And then, oh, truck lane attackers will be so good. Even though I would like tons and tons and tons of planes. Actually, just go with that then. If we need a lot of infantry equipment anyways, we got enough for that, hopefully, so... Mm, that's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Scout kits. Because we are using some of those, right? So, stockpile. Guns aren't bad. Mm. Let's go back up to three here. And we're going to need some more resources. We're going to need more scrap. Oh, wow. That's quite an idea. Discourage traders, distrust outsiders would be nice. But we'll wait and see. So, we can't do this yet. Let's go ahead and come down here, actually. And do... Oh, actually. Oh, can't do that either. Man, we're, we're already... So far ahead with a lot of this stuff. Oh my goodness. Uh, plane stuff we were just looking at. Anything here? Train mongrels? Yeah, why not? I like dogs. Dogs are cool. Well, who's got it? Pale folk, please and thank you. This is such a mob army. Oof. That's a lot of political power already. But I'm going to get mutated experience, and then we'll go with mutated strength mastery. Ooh, mutants get more breakthrough, 10% soft attack, hard attack, very good stuff. Dynamite would be good to produce, as well as... Anti-tank rifles, you always gotta get anti-tank rifles, right? Always gotta get that stuff, always, always, always. Triplane attackers, I love triplane attackers, as well as dynamite. I love dynamite. Go with two, and go with like five or something. You got plenty of mole rats for realsies, wow. How much political part do we get, 1.69? Anti-sub stuff, and eh, I do that one, doesn't matter. Uh, oh, cool. Very good. Very good. How many division? Oh, hold on. Oh, they joined a faction. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, they're fighting the divide. Oh, I do not want to fight these guys already. Oh, please don't. Ooh, if they say no, do we have to go to war with them? I hope not. Oh God, I hope not. I'm not ready for a war against the NCR. I am really not ready for that. Oh, this is not going to be good then. The new Reno problem. Well, yeah, it's definitely a problem. Encoded signals. Ah, let's go, go with vacuum tubes anyways. I play the white legs again. I played them as once. But it's been quite a while. I can't believe we already have all, all these guys already in here. Wow. Of course, then again, we have no economic ministers, we expect. Or advisors. The new Reno problem. Alright. Oof. I even tried a beeline for this partially, so. Uh, well, city leadership training. Okay. Not, oh. Wow. That's not bad. Let's do it under the thumb of the mole. In state invasive surveillance policy shall let the glorious brain control the populace more effectively or efficiently. Surely this is good for the greater good? Or this is for the greater good? Come on, come on, please, 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 please. Reply. They accepted a proposal and became a vassal. Oh, but not really. No, 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 not really. Oh, God. Ooh. Uh, that, no. Oh, hmm. Uh, how long do we have this war go against them? Ooh, I don't want to go to war with these guys immediately. I can't fight the NCR now, can I? 
They've up to 68 divisions. We have 40 some. Oh. Oh, but they are allied with the Shi, as well as the Mojave territories. That would just not be a very smart idea for us to go to war with them immediately. Desert Rangers. We could end up going to war with the Desert Rangers instead. That might not be a bad idea. Actually, which way are they going? Ranger Team Canis. Well, they spawn two special forces units. If we move fast enough, they won't be able to join anybody. So, and they only have up to 25 divisions. It does take 150 days to do that. Hmm. In the meantime, even though you guys weigh a lot, let's throw on some more mole rats. We love mole rats, especially naked mole rats. Why are they naked? Don't ask me. I don't know. Uh, very good. Come on down here, everyone. Have a good time. Have a good time. And let's do one more focus before we end this episode. Well, we definitely have an army. I didn't say a very good army, but at least we have an army. God dang it, now we need more guns. Let's go up there, please, thank you. Do that, that'll be fine. Do that. Uh, I'd rather make more guns for now. At least we're not, we don't have to deal with the resistance yet, which is good. Which is quite good, actually. Reclamation Authority, very good. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, go ahead and do that, too. Republic of the Rio Grande. Production policies. Servant Allocation Center, huh? That's a little different, and I do want to choose that parlor room. An alarming trend. We've already read that earlier in this episode. Ooh. Squash them. It's nothing. Just going to do that one. Actually, I do want to ask you guys this. Should we use... We have to use infantry equipment regardless in this campaign. But, should we use ballistic weaponry, or should we use energy weaponry? Just because when we have our production policies, we can go with ballistic weaponry. Or, we can just do the energy weaponry. So, let me know in the comments below. We don't always get the happy company there, so... I'm totally open to what you guys suggest. Uh, more defense. That'd be good. And under the thumb of the mole, well, let's make sure we don't have any more research going on. Actually, a week, seven days. Let's go and read the next one after this one. So... Actually, I'll do some of this our own way. Honorable allies. Hmm. Interesting. Troll one joins the faction. Sees Eastport. Ooh, I kind of like that. How about we share our goggles? The pale folk are, by and large, incapable of going out during the day due to their extreme light sensitivity. This has made them somewhat incapable allies due to the, this severe limitation. A simple solution has been proposed, however. We shall give them our best plus of Vault Tech goggles. But, regardless, my friends, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we will try to continue expanding our influence as the brain. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.